All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome. This is very, very exciting. We have a brand new update to MTG Arena, as well as an early look at the new OTJ draft format, Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Let's freaking do this. Yeah, even got the old border secret layers here, too. This is great. All right, so, um, holy God, these cards are bad. Dwarven Shrine, uh, I guess spells and do anything. Uh, all right, so we got Chamber... Gains goal of a creature until end of turn. I feel like this card's bad. Uh, no Demolish. Standstone, Deadfall. Sack two lands, destroy its attacker. Woo, boy. Um, Cartographer returns a land. Diligent Farmhand. I think it's Morbid Hunger. So obviously we're drafting Odyssey Torment Judgment. Ah, uh, it's April Fools, you get it. Uh, this is an old school, old school, old school um, set. Uh, you know, this is w about when I started playing, a little bit, um, after when I started playing. Uh, and this is a really, really old limited set. And as you'll see, the cards are pretty damn bad. Um, which is, uh, you know, a card like Dusk Imp, which is a 2-1 flyer for, for, for 3, is actually pretty awesome. Um, so, this is old school magic here, and, uh, this should be fun. I've read this set a lot back in the day. And uh, let's look at our back here. And now, also an important thing to note is that the colors are imbalanced and there's three sets. So the first set is normal. Set two is all about black. So it's all on a black cards, more red and, and green and uh, red and blue cards and less green and white cards. And the last pack judgment is very, very green, white focused. So there are very few black cards. So it's kind of a weird up and down, but all right. So this pack's got some pretty good blue cards in it. Uh, Treat up Sentinel is a three, three flying pro green a two three flyer over four is already good in this format also have fisher which is a great card do when it dies you draw a card another morbid hunger um hmm hunger is fine uh but i think that we want the fisher here i think fisher's better than sentinel so and this blood's not playable in, uh, unless you're like actual no creatures so take the fisher and uh, we got careful study. Obviously, there are some powerful cards in this. We got we had a, a an elephant ambush here. This card is phenomenal. Uh, format for a three three instant. This card to be playable probably regular limited maybe. I don't know maybe. But uh, and we got careful study. Squirrel nest for all you commander players out there, right? Y'all love a squirrel nest. We got a uh, barbarian ring, etrified field. It's no call to her. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Diesel in chat is my buddy John. We were playing Magic back back in the day when these cards were legal. So, um, so we could try and take a careful study and maybe like consider going like a madness route, or just take the ambush because I think a third pick ambush is a pretty good sign. Obviously, I imagine a lot of folks are draft. I mean, I don't know honestly. What do you think? I imagine most people draft this probably like over here for the nostalgia. So, this is a new arena update. This is a new early access OTG, OTJ draft format. Yeah, I'm taking the ambush though. Study is cool. But requires a lot of things to go right. So. All right, wow. So we get a Seton Crosian Protector, which is not actually that good. Just taps for green. Uh, um, another Aether Burst, which is a bounce spell. Another Avon Fisher, which is great. Uh, another Study. Mystic Visionary is not bad. A little 2 one they can gain Flying with Threshold, which is kind of cool, too. Um, I don't remember how good the Careful Study was. I think it's really, really good if like you have Madness stuff, but like, you have to actually have, have the Madness stuff. I think Fisher's just better. I don't know. Even a blue green, there's some good blue, some good blue green, <laughs> blue green mana stuff though. So, is it Fisher or I also have two other four drops already? Let's take study. I don't know. Another careful study. Wow. It's more you know this this card is card disadvantage, right? So like you draw two discard two, but you lose a card you cast. So like, you know, it need to be doing good things with it. Uh, we got a Deep Reconnaissance, which is a Rampant Growth Flashback. Also have a Hollowed Healer. This card was really good, if I remember correctly. Uh, this card is just like... That, they used to have this card in every set back in the day. Uh, kind of like the Board Complication White Common. Where it was just some White Common that could just like affect every combat, every turn. And it just like would just get... You would just punk players of pre releases and stuff like that. And make the board really, really complicated. This card's busted, though. Uh, prevents 2 damage... And then four damage uh, in threshold, and like that's just insane. I'm taking the healer. This card's actually busted. So take the healer. It's also important to note that like these old school sets, uh, there are there are not a lot of playables. So it's not like these modern day sets where you can just like take cards and stay, and stay super open. There's a very real chance you end up with not enough playables. So you gotta get arrogant, arrogant worm in the uh, torment pack, right? So 
We got a pretty bad pack here for us. There's no blue cards. One green card's unplayable. Uh, the best card's probably the, the Were Rat, which is just like a fine uh, black common. The white cards are all pretty bad too. I think Anarchist is like okay, but um, right now we're like at literally all five colors, so take the Rat. Take the Were Rat. Uh, still life. This becomes a 4 3 Centaur. That's not very good. Corrosion Archer, another kind of middling green creature. We get Seton's Desire. Oromancer. Man. Uh. Whoo, boy. Yeah, I'd be the imp, yeah. Like, it's funny because this card looks heinously bad. Uh, but a 2 2 maybe flyer for 3 again is not like the worst thing in this format, so. Let's our blues drying up a little bit. Um. Alright, let's take the imp. Wow, that card's really good. So there's a, here's a late springing tiger. This is a 3 3 for, for, for 4. Threshold's a 5 5, which is pretty good, too. So um, we got that. We got Cartographer, which returns a land if you discard it. Kind of whatever. A couple, couple, couple blue cards. Sack a land, draw a card. That's so great. Um, tiger's really good. So I think green black could be a thing, maybe. Um, try to find the lane here, you know? Tiger's really good. So take that. Take Tiger. This is our pick 7. No, this is our this is our table, right? For yeah, this is this is, this is our table. So we tabled our cartographer. Um, even Flox also kind of okay. It looks so bad. So it's so funny how uh, how bad these cards look. But yeah, take cartographer here. This card's fun. Um, we end up like you know some ways to discard. You can discard a land and get it back. It's kind of cool, I guess. Also looking for playables too. Uh, we got new frontiers. This is a pop popular. This is a popular commander card before commander cards were commander cards. Like way like way back in the day. Um, pretty fun. Predict, Moments, Peace, Woodland, Druid, a couple bad cards. So a couple bad red cards. And Predict is fine. Like, I don't think you want to, uh, play these green cards, so. Man. Uh, alright. Sarkatog? Not quite Psychotog. Uh, Petro Field, Sack of Land. Or Sack of Return of Land card, Reverter. And the rest he's, he's playing Vintage and Bizarre Baghdad decks. Um, all well, these cards are pretty bad though. Let's get a creature flying. Put that wreckage. This could give us a. Uh, this helps give us threshold. You can sacrifice it for any color. Holy moly! These packs, these cards are all so bad. Um, let's see here. Just gonna take the woodland druid. <laughs> Uh, another wreckage, a druid lyricist which destroys an enchantment, and then a Kamal's desire. All right, let's take the wreckage, I guess. Charmed pendant, four mana mill a card for each colored mana symbol, and then milled cards. Mana cost add one mana of that color. For example. All right, and demoralize. All right, need a good pack two here. Um, open up some good ones here. It's actually a pretty juiced pack. All right, so hellbent raider. It's just like 2-2 two -two first arcade is pretty good. The Chieftain's awesome. We got Cabal Coffers here too. It's not really for a draft deck, but Chieftain's awesome. 3-3 three, three, Haste for 4 is like pretty good in this format, and Threshold is an overrun. Violent Eruption is probably one of the best cards in the set, honestly. Uh, but, you know, it's River Red, obviously, whatever. We got Basking Root Wallow, which is an awesome gold constructed card. Cabal Torturer, which can ping and kill things. It's pretty cool as well. Um, also, if you have Threshold, it just kills a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we got Deep Analysis, which is awesome. Mesmeric Fiend is awesome. Pretty gas pack, honestly. Um, Chieftain's really good, but I have a lot of fours already. I think it might be, might be the Torturer. This card, again, the, these sort of like pinger cards also don't, don't happen in Limited anymore. These commons that can deal one damage to things over and over again, which just like obviously picks off all X ones, which is pretty insane. Um, I'm taking the Torturer. Chieftain's really, really good, but yeah. I think the Torturer. But if we're green black too, then like we get all the black cards in this pack, all the green cards in the neck pack. Yeah, that pack was good. that pack was really really good. So, so we have our hollow healer, we have one white card, we have three blue cards. The study might not even be good though. This card's insane. Uh, Crippling fatigue, three mana to give a creature a disfigure, and then flashback for two mana. That's insane. Uh, everything's so small that like that's awesome. We got Balthor the Stout, a barbarian lord. We got. Uh, Petrovark, pretty cool card. I actually love this mechanic. Um, this is a really cool 
this is a nightmare mechanic, right? So it exiles things uh, until this thing dies, and you get it back. And this is a really cool way to do like a stone rain, where it exiles the land until this thing dies. I feel like that would be a really cool card to see in standard, honestly, as a way to kind of like have stone rain effects that aren't actually stone rains in standard. But yeah, easily fatigue, easy fatigue gear. This card's great. Um, we got old Cephalot Illusions here. And it wants to have some breakfast, right? Aqua Amoeba, but yeah, fatigue is great. Take the fatigue. Um, Nantuku Blight Cutter. The mana for a 2 2 pro black. Threshold gets plus and plus one for each black permanent your opponent's control if you have seven or more cards in your graveyard. It's interesting. Um, Avon Troop, one of the worst commons ever printed. <laughs> um, Wall One Flyer for four. Another Aqua Amoeba. Uh, Waste Away, additional cost to cast, discard a card. It's not particularly great. Uh, unhinge, discard and draw. It sucks as like a. We could take Aquaman, but maybe, maybe just ditch the green, try and go blue. I mean, this card's unplayable. So, why don't we have like three blue cards and three green cards? The problem is that Aquaman is no longer as good as it used to be because you still stack damage. But um, I guess the restore is not bad if we have the morbid hunger and stuff too. I'll take here honestly. I just have no idea. Uh, I'll take Aquaman, and we'll see what happens. Whoa, boy! Mortal Kombat! Do, 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 do. Uh, we have upkeep for 20 more creature cards in your graveyard. You win the game. We got Soul Scorch, 3 2 Flyer, ETB Siege Rhino. When it goes away, they gain a life back. Uh, we got Unhinge. There are some good, there are good blue cards in pack three. There was Worm Fang Drake, which was insane, if I remember correctly. So, uh, we got Seed and Scout. But again, we just took a blue card, so I think we're like. Ugh, man. Because you can't afford to waffle this format. You gotta pick a color because you will not have you will not have enough playables. Um, this card's good. Two one reach for two threshold plus two plus two. This card saw play a little bit of playing structure, I think. I am waffling, yes. So I think we're definitely black. I'm just gonna take the, the soul scorch. Um, Boneyard slasher. Two mana for a one one flying threshold. Plus two, plus two, and if it's target of a spell or ability, sacrifice it. That's not very good. Uh, we got Carrion Rats, also awful. Uh, number of attacks are blocked. They may exile a card from the graveyard. If they do, it does no damage. We got Centaur Veteran, which is terrible. High Drum of Guardian, terrible. Um, actually, Boneyard Slasher. This card seems okay. Sure, whatever. Alright, we got Carrion Worm. This is the bigger version of the card we just saw. 5 out of 1st, 6, 5. Whenever it attacks or blocks, any player may exile 3 cards in the graveyard. If they do, deals no combat damage. So again, kind of a weird card. Like, it might not work. Uh, but... You got another 6 mana, 3, 3. Pitchstone Wall. We got 3 mana for a 2, 5 Defender. If you discard a card, you may sacrifice this. If you do return, discard a card from the graveyard to your hand. Uh, Alter Reality. All these cards are just totally unplayable, so... I think the worm is fine, honestly. Um, it's a block. Yeah. Take the worm. Uh, all right. Parallel evolution. Five mana sorcery. For each token in the battlefield, make a copy of it. It's like cool commander card, I guess. We got swamp walk. Target black creature gets shrunk. Rancid earth. This card is pretty cool. It's a stone rain threshold. One damage all your stuff. But yeah, pretty easy soul scorch here, I think. All right. Um, Acorn Harvest, pretty good actually. Makes two things. Flashback makes two things. The paying life is kind of tough, but uh, it's been a pair of arc in every pack. Two Carrion Rats, the Veteran. Man, maybe we are maybe Arch Green. Just done, just done the blue cards, I think. Shades Form. It's kind of cute. Shades Form seems pretty bad. I remember, we're not going to see any black cards in back three. Black three is, there's very, very few black cards, so let's take the Harvest, I think. The Harvest is fine. Cabal Call for Stables, kind of obviously. Uh, this pack's terrible, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I mean, this pack's like... Back in the day, if you can believe this... Um, Alright, yeah, I get it. I'm sorry. They would not print a 2-2 two, two for 2 in black or red. Or any non-green color, basically. 
They always have drawbacks. It's a, it's a grizzly bear as a drawback. It's insane, right? So, uh, oh, yeah, whatever. Um, all right, so militant monk. Did it swing damage? It's not very good. Zombie trailblazer, tap a zombie control, land because of swamp. I mean, this card is also kind of unplayable. Ability mill two. I mentioned need playables, so. Uh, another zombie trailblazer? <laughs> sure. A little light on two drops here. Yeah, this card's, this card's fine, right? Just unhinge. Just discard draw. Yeah, I mean, trailblazer is pretty, pretty awful, so. Mortal Kombat tables, as does Mortophobia. Human enchantment, discard a card, exile card from graveyard. Sack this to exile card from graveyard. That's terrible. Cards are all so bad. Uh, the veteran. All right. Veteran might, 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 might make the deck, unfortunately. All right, so go to pack three. And now this is the green-white pack. This is where all, there's a ton of green and white cards and very few black cards. So. Right now, our playable count. I mean, if we're not taking these cards out. I mean, we have 16 cards here. A lot of these are and playables. Oh, we freaking did it. Oh! Phantom Centaur, come on down. Raise your hand in chat. Remember Phantom Centaur. This card was an absolute beating. Beating. Four, four mana for a 0-2. Oh, or sorry, 2 up. And it's got Pro Block, which is just insane by itself. It ETBs with 3 plus and plus 1 counters on it. If it would ever take damage, instead of taking actual damage, you just remove one of the counters. So like, if this blocks a 5-5, five, five, it just becomes a 4-2. And your thing lives. This card's absolutely insane. Uh... Pack also has Harvester Druid and Phantom Tiger. All the Phantom creatures are insanely good. It's like they have two lives or whatever, too. So, uh, yeah, Sudden Strength also. A lot of white cards, too. Another alt win card here in Test of Endurance. 50 or more life, you win the game. But yeah. And then, of course, if you, can, if you can augment the Phantom creatures and put, like, a some, some, sort of, some sort of counter on it or aura on it, they'll never die. So, if you give this plus, plus almost with an aura, you'll just never die, which is cool, too. So, uh, all right. So, we see... Um, Toxic Stench, minus and minus one. It's a Doom Blade if we have Threshold. We got Suitored Ghoul. When ETBs exile and every creature cards in your graveyard, it's that big. Actually, I might be fine this format, actually. Uh, kind of cool. Yeah, Phantom Center are, 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 might be playable in Standard, honestly. I mean, actually, they'd be very good in Standard with Pro Black. But Bark Ripper and a Threshold card. Cabal Therapy is a great card, not for us, obviously. Got a Wonder, which is also pretty insane. But uh, I'm thinking Suitored Ghoul, though. This card saw play back in the day. Suited Ghoul and Dragon Breath. This was, a, this was a big combo kill. Back in the day. Yeah, take Suited Ghoul. Sure. Uh, oh, man. Battle Screech. I love Battle Screech. This card, this card was in my cube for such a long time. Uh, makes tokens. Tap a white creature and the two tokens and flashback again. It's four ones for, for four mana. This card's insane. Um, yeah, I'd be a pretty easy Phantom Tiger here. This is great. So... Um, Force Mage Advocate. Turn a card from an opponent's graveyard to their hand. Put a counter on a creature. Yeah, this, this is a, there's a funny cycle of like these Advocate creatures that like give your opponent a card back from their graveyard for a bonus, which is like normally bad, but like if it's card lands, it's kind of good. But yeah, Tiger is great. So, all right, so we got Tiger. We got Brawn and Filth. Wow, so Brawn, if this thing's in a graveyard, all you things have Trample. Filth, if it's in a graveyard, all you things have Swamp Walk. There's also a Harvest Druid, though. I kind of think we just need Harvest Druid. We actually have like Literally one two drop in our entire deck. Not that the two drops are nearly as important as, as important as they are in modern day magic, uh, but you still gotta do things, you know. You got giant warthog here, colossal dread maw's uh, precursor, fine card too. Yeah, take the druid. Pretty good pack for us. So this is gonna make us just a match the mana dork, which I think is pretty good. We got a. Uh, it also helps our double cost too, so that's pretty good. We're kind of like our mana, our mana base is kind of sketchy. Um, card's fine, barkeeper. To four four threshold, we don't really have many ways to get threshold, unfortunately, um, which kind of sucks. We do have the uh, the two sack lands, but at the same time, like we're playing expensive cards also, so sack lands aren't that good. We got a warthog and another ripper. I think we're good on bad three drops, so like I think we're fine taking the warthog here. We're not playing this veteran either, so five five or six is pretty huge in this format. Um, love this card too, corrosion verge. All right, so yeah, take the warthog. When I was a young warthog, 
Uh, ear splitting ratchet. Each player discards with ETBs, and you can discard a card to regen it. It's not great. And again, there are no playables here, so I guess we'll take it. But freaking lava dart. This is the original uh, home of lava dart. It's awesome. We got worm fang crab here too. It's a three six for four, unblockable. And when it ETBs, you exile one of your own permanents. When it dies, they come back. Pretty fun uh, card, but. Take the rats. We're now at 21 playables. Oh, sick. So we got Nantuka Tracer here. When ETBs put a card from the graveyard of the Bob and Soda's library. We also have Null Mage Advocate, which can return two cards to kill an artifact or enchantment. Yeah, take, take two drop. So take a two drop. Uh, sudden Strength Table. This card's pretty good. Just Giant Growth Cantrip. Overcosted, but like just a two for one. You know. Serene Sunset, prevent all combat damage, X target creatures would deal this. So this card good. This card seems, I don't remember this card being good, but it seems pretty good, right? You just like, blow out your opponent's combat step. Any, any boomers in chat? Is this card good? I don't remember this card being very good. Uh, so obviously, Sudden Strength is pretty, is pretty solid. I'm taking Sudden Strength. I don't remember. I feel, like, I feel like if that card was good, I would, I would remember it, so. Uh, we got Corrosion Wreck, shuffle some cards in. Folk Medicine. This card's pretty good. Uh, Shield, Mage Advocate, Shield Mage Advocate. Another, like, Complexity Common. That just, like, turn a card, print all damage. What's up, Corey? Um, yeah, whatever. I'm not playing these cards, so... Uh, Battlefield Scrounger. Which is pretty bad. Rat's Feast. Oh, my God. All right, well, I think we're going to have enough playables for a deck here, hopefully, but... Centaur Rootcaster, 2-2 two, two for 4. Or hits your opponent, you get a land card. Or sudden, the Sunshine is good. Alright, so... The good news here is we can cut some cards. And we're going to have a, a playable... A playable deck, hopefully, here. In our uh, in our new Arena Update OTJ Drafts. You got to cut, like... Two cards, one card. Unhinge. I don't think Unhinge is very good, honestly, but... Torturer, Cartographer. We're not really uh, putting cards in our graveyard, so Cartographer is like not the most exciting. Um, your rat, your splitting rats, Harvest, two sudden strengths, Ambush. Might need eighteen lands if it's that god. Honestly, so we're at twenty-four cards. Looks like that's gonna be it. Rare Revelation. I mean, just a 2 2, I guess, right? Whatever. But, uh, fatigue, torture, unhinge. Alright. So, it looks like we are, uh, done here. And, uh, let's take a look at what we got. Um, as far as playable cards in our board, I don't really have any. Uh, Woodland Druid. Yeah, Battlefield Scrounger. This card saw play constructed as a way to, to not deck. It's pretty crazy, so. Uh, but yeah, so you have Suter Ghoul, the Morbid Unger, Wurugs, Two Scourges, Worm. Uh, I don't love Ear Splitting Rats, this card's not very good, but I'm actually to play it. Um, Barker for Tiger, Cartographer. So, like, Cartographer, Unhinged, pretty bad. It's like, obviously your opponent wants to discard cards. Like, imagine if I discard a freaking you know, Root Wall or something like that, so. Um, and then are we playing 18 lands, or are we gonna play, uh, just 17? Our two stinkers are like the rats and the cartographer. Um, yeah. We're not really like doing any graveyard stuff. So a lot of our discard, our discard effects are just like pretty bad. But I guess it's just fine. Uh... Oh, yeah, let's just cut both of these and play 18 lands, I think. I'm going to play the uh, the bog wreckages, too. These can help, get, help us get threshold later in the game. So, play the wreckages. And... 9, 9 we're going to do... This is 19. That's, not, that's, that's 19 lands. Hold on. 19 lands is too many. We're not playing 19 lands. Um, so, we have... We have double green and double black, which is pretty awkward. Alright, so... I'll just play the... I think the rats and the... It's just too bad. I'll just play the unhinged. Whatever. We're a little light on threes anyway, so... 
just unhinged. Puts a card in our graveyard, too. So, there it is, folks. Our, uh, oops. There is our new arena update, OTJ Draft. Let's freaking do this. Brought to you by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, let's do this. Uh, we are on the play. Two lands and a mana dork with no black. We gotta keep this. Let's do this. This new arena update is dope. All right, forest go. Looking for a swamp. We're playing 18 lands, so. And the druid can help with our, with our, our double blocks, too, so. OTJ. Let's play an onslaught lands. Diligent farmhand. Okay. All right, we're going to draw land here. Uh. This is a rampant growth on a stick. A Millican. Oh my god, they're they're really going here. Millicard at a colorless. Right, please draw land. Please draw land. Swamp, 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 swamp. We did it! <laughs> Bingo! Alright, All right, so now this is why this card's so insane. Uh, I'm gonna cab cabal torturer here. And like this is just gonna kill all their X1s every turn. So let's add a black. And play Cabal Torture. And just get our game on. And again. Very, very common facet of old school limited was these sort of common creatures that always did one. Uh, Proto Sorcerer effects, and then, or minus and minus one effects. And they were like Spike Shot Goblin. They were always commons too. So, like, you just, it, they just, they would wreck like, look at this. They have, they have a 1 1, an, o, an o 1, and a 1 1, you know? It's gonna wreck their stuff. So, all right, I'll start by casting a Unhinge and try and uh, draw another land if we can. So, you discard, I draw. I got a muscle burst in the bin. Crow's Wayfarer is like completely unplayable, I think. So, draw far. So they discard a still life. Sure. We're gonna add a black. And we're gonna torture their Millican. Get off my Let's begin plane. the torture drain. Everything's very small back then, too. So, like, the pinger effects are even especially good. And once you have threshold, it kills. There's minus two, minus two. Remember, this is a common. A common. Like,. Look up the card Sparksmith. You don't know what it used to be like back in the day. How we used to do it. Alright, so we draw Swamp. Uh, could have Elephant Ambush. I'm not going to attack here with our Torturer. Just play War Dog and say go. When I was a young Warthog. Sparksmith was a mythic a mythic common. Yeah, and Timberwatch Elf. They used to have a lot of these like very complex board tricks. God, I'm so freaking smart and good looking. Calling out the shots from a 30-year-old set. Here's Brawn. If his dies, all the things have trample. This card's very good. Uh, but I think we're good here. So we can torture in combat. Also important to note, this is also a combat trick in combat too. And there's a lot of these like common board complexity cards that would just, you know, uh, just sort of make the board really, really hard. So combat's so confusing. You'd have a board with like two healers in play, two pumpers in play, and like anything could be anything anywhere. It was very, very, very complicated. So... We got a brawn here. We could send in our warthog and trade the warthog for the brawn and the elephant, and then exile the brawn or the elephant ambush with our tracer. Um, so this is this. That would be two. Yeah, we'd be. We can't cast anything else though, unfortunately. Right, and the first person to play their own like ping style creature. The other person can't play one because they'll play it or just die before they can use it. So there were some there were some haste ones though, uh, Volshock Sorcerer, I think. But all right, so I think we this is a good trade. I think it's not a good trade. I just have to. I just didn't attack. I think this is a pretty good trade. We're up on card. We're up, we're up on a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, metrics here too. So let's do this. Shrink this. And let's trade two for one. And now, why don't we just cast Soul Scourge? We can always trace her later. So, let's um just cast Soul Scourge. Uh, I should have held that. Maybe I don't know. But so Soul Scourge ETBs. It steals three of their life. If it dies, it gives it back them. So.
Oh boy. They're going to play a Metamorphic Worm. It's a 3 3 for 5. Threshold plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. So 7 7 if they have Threshold. They're very close to Threshold. And they can have it at instant speed. It's also going to have Trample too. It's pretty nasty. So uh, that being said, though, we just have our uh, our Tracer. We're going to get a card gone from the graveyard, which is kind of cool. We draw a Boneyard Slasher, which is not very exciting, but in being in the air is good. So let's uh, attack for 3. And then we're going to Tracer, I would say the Brawn. I think the Ambush is going to be not relevant enough in this game. They only have two cards in their hand. Yeah, so let's cast Tracer. There's no point in torturing this either, so. Let's hit this Brawn. We can jump block the Worm. Play to Soul Scourge. Alright, so comes into play. Nuggy for three. So now they're already at 11. We have a two-turn clock in the air. And they are, of course, mono greens. So I shouldn't be able to kill my flyers, hopefully. Boneyard Slasher. It's like a black metal album cover. All right, so Metamorphic Worm is going to come in here. Tag for three. It's fun. Let's take the three, no problem. How often does come going to target yourself? Probably not very often, but... Ooh, Arrogant Worm. That's a classic. This is a huge player constructed. This is a 4-4 for Trample for 5. Madness for 3. So you discard this on turn 3 and play it for a 4-4, which is huge. Uh, we draw a Suitored Ghoul. So Suitored Ghoul uh, is the size... It exiles all the creatures from our graveyard and is that big. So we can play this... Right now as a 5-5 Trample, which is not very good, obviously. I could play it a little bit later... Maybe we just like play Boneyard Slasher. We'll, we'll just make some blocks next turn. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's like we're also just like winning the game next turn in theory, so. Let's see. I mean, honestly, just casting a 5 5 here is almost just fine. Um, I don't know if we need to be greedy with it. We could just cast it. Um, we could just cast Boneyard Slasher also. If Boneyard Slasher was lethal. Like if they had a two power or or they were at four. Probably just play the slasher. I'll just cast it. It's a five five trample. It's good enough. So ADB exile any of our creature cards from your graveyard, and the power is equal to the power and toughness of those cards. So we're gonna exile our warthog. Just take a five five. Seven mana for a five five trample is good enough, right? So exile that. And that's it. So we get a five five suitor ghoul. We have bigger plans for this card usually, but it's fine for now. And all right, we got game one. Any sideboarding? Uh, no, our deck just kind of is what it is, I think. So, all right, hopping into game two here. We are, our opponent chose to draw. Welcome to old school magic, folks. Um, so we're on the play. And our yeah, we, have two, we have a seven drop and a six drop. We're playing, we gotta keep this. We're playing 18 lands. We have a good, do two good three drops, and one good three drop, one three drop, and then cantrip. We're gonna keep this. Opponent chose to draw. You, it's, it's, it was a good time, folks. It's a beautiful time. Yeah, the new arena update. Now you can play arena at work without your boss getting suspicious. I think you're, you're, you're in Excel. Alright. Playing a tracer. Just playing a 2 1. You draw land here, obviously. What in Tall Nation? Iron Shell Beetle. Now, what's cool is that, like, this card is actually a modern-day limited card a lot of the time. Uh, this card's pretty good. Uh, it just got power crept in the uh, Ixalan set as a 1-2, but we've seen this card a lot of times in modern-day limited, which is pretty cool. So, it's fun seeing what things, like, made it out of old-school limited into, into modern-day limited, what things didn't. All right, Nina Land here, folks. Nina Land! Phantom Tiger. Boom. <laughs> That's not good. Alright. 18 lands, not enough. Take our trade. And we'll say go. I mean, again, the good news is that old school limited was pretty damn slow. So, like, you can afford to miss a land drop and not just lose. Like, in modern limited, like, you miss a land drop and you're in big trouble usually. But, alright, draw land. Cool. Alright, so here's Phantom Tiger. Phantom Tiger is phenomenal. So, again, this is a phantom creature. 
This has the ability where it has plus and plus when counters instead of power and toughness. And then whenever it would take damage, you would counter, no matter how much damage it is. So you can't block with a 1-1, one, one, it'll shrink. Unless you can block a 10-10 and still live, basically, which is awesome. So it's kind of like a 3-2 a and then a 2-1 all in one. They play a Milliken. Draw land here. Cannot draw land. All right, so this card is a mill card, obviously, to attack. Milling yourself is obviously very good in a graveyard set. Phantom Neshoba. That card was the bomb back in the day. All right, let's play our Fledging Limp. Obviously, a pretty bad card. It's a 2-2 two -two with no abilities. Pay it black, discard a card to give it flying. Probably won't be doing that, but... You know, our deck is not super synergy-based, unfortunately, but they're going to Milliken. Oh, this card's insane. Mill Farst and play a Nantuku Disciple. This card is bonkers. Another complexity combo where it's a 2-2 two -two for 4. You pay a green. They give a creature plus 2, plus 2 to end of turn. This makes combat so freaking hard. Uh, cool art, too. So now all their creatures in combat are potentially too bigger, which is insane. So uh, untap, draw land. Not draw land. All right, now, now we're screwed, I think. That, 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 that was a turn we needed to draw land, and we didn't. And now I think we're in big trouble, so. Thriss. Yep, I remember that one. All right, so we're going to jam. Um, yeah, if we draw, like, swamps for the rest of the game, might have a chance. But, okay, this card's really, really good. Our kill spell costs six, so. <laughs> Flash is back for nine. Number nine. All right, folks, if you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, support the content. I don't mind on Magic Island much anymore, but I couldn't resist this one. Just couldn't resist. Yeah, we draw land really, really bad. Uh, so bad. We do, we're okay, probably. You know, be Sudden Strengths, Tiger. We are 20. They're going to mill a Chieftain and play a Harvest Druid. They're a pretty cool, like, Mono Green Threshold deck. So now they have this 4-3, potentially, on defense. Or they can pump us to a 3-3. Or let's pump, 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 pump itself to a 4-4. We draw a land. It's actually pretty good for us, right? We draw a land sick. So now we can actually attack. And if we try to use their either one of these, we blow them out. All right. So let's, let's like... Let's make it like we're thinking for a second. When really all, all we're thinking about is Vegas and the fucking Mirage, right? I want to think I'm pondering an attack, but we're going to attack. So attack. I think most of their blocks are pretty bad here. Either activating the Still Life or using the Disciple. So, they're gonna, they're gonna, so they'll, they'll use Disciple here. So this obviously isn't like a great exchange, right? We're trading our, our Sudden Strength for a freaking 1-1. But we get to draw a card, try to find lands, keep our thing alive also. So I think this is overall fine. Dealing three as well. And draw land, cool. So we'll have a 5-5 five, five imp. We'll say go. They mill over a force mage advocate. And they play a brawn, which is pretty powerful. But I think we're once again able to attack freely now. So now that this thing will attack. And now I can attack again with my, with my sudden strength. We have a scourge. I think we're actually we're just, we're just golden here, I think. Draw their land, too. Sick. All right, so let's just go land, attack of both. They'll block probably the Imp. I cast Sudden Strength. I should not play that land first. Actually, that was dumb. I have to tap, tap lands, but um, we're at nine. I can give Flying also. I could just give Flying and play Tiger. Nah, I'm just going to attack. So they block here, and we'll Sudden Strength. They should have blocked the uh, tiger, probably. I don't think it's the block tiger; it would die. So, all right. So, all right. So we're gonna do this. Draw a soul scourge. That's gas. All right. So, I think we're good to go here. Eighteen to six. They mill over a card. They have threshold now. Here is your absolutely monstrous metamorphic worm. Oh seven God. seven trample. Is it good enough? Is the question though. Because they are just about dead. Um, we have Soul Scourge and a Soul Scourge to kill them, right? So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think I might actually Morbid Hunger them. Because the, the life game might keep us alive, too. Rather than play the Scourge. So in case they have some sort of like weird combination of pump spells or something like that, they have a lot of power on the board, actually. So... I'm just gonna hunger them. Let's hunger face as I go. Alright, so 
Lightning Helix you for for six. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! No attacks. There you go. And now next turn we just have Soul Scourge kill you. It's funny the tigers do not play very well with the Suter Ghouls because they are a one zero in the in the graveyard, unfortunately. So um, good deck building synergy. Watch from the bathroom says didn't follow magic. Let's go stars. I'm a Rangers fan, but I like Robertson a lot. He was on my fantasy team for a while. He's, he is no longer, unfortunately, but j -Rob's great. I like stars. I just love hockey, you know? All right, take seven. Take nine. Hopefully no fling or something. Um, let's go hockey. And here's a Dojin farmhand, and they are dead. Grosjean Wayfarer, yep, we got it. All right, Mono Green does not get the job done. We're going to play a land and cast our Soul Scourge and call it a day. Your face. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Boom. There it is. Let's go. Well, remind y'all also, this Friday at high noon, going to have our set review, complete set review of Outlaws at of Thunder Junction. Friday the 5th, that's this Friday, I'm going to go over every single card in the set for Constructed and for Limited. All right, my set review, it'll be live on Twitch uh, at high noon, it'll be up on YouTube over the weekend. Look for that complete set review. Hope to see you there. All right, back for round two. We're on the draw. Our hand is not particularly exciting, but we're going to keep. These can stack for Threshold later, which is kind of cool, so. Swamp. All right, Swamp, go. Bog Wreckage, come on down. We got two threshold creatures too, so. Ooh, nice mountain. Nice lance. Classy. Unhinged. We we are pretty unhinged here. So need to be aware of uh madness cards and stuff for the unhinge, but as far as a thing to do on turn three, I'm not displeased. Oh no! They have Cabal Torture also. I don't think we actually have that many one toughest creatures though, so let's untap. Let's unhinge them. We're on the draw too, so unhinge is pretty good here. And they have no clock either, so. Madness is across all colors. They discarded anger? <laughs> now all their creatures have haste. Okay, sure. Uh, not the best. Not the best. Discarded the anger. That's why this card's pretty bad in this format, but we need a playable, so here we are playing it. Um. <laughs> A lot of cards you want to have in the graveyard this format, you know? They're going to play a Spellgorger Barbarian. This is a 3-1 for 4. When it ETBs, discard a card at random. When it dies, draw a card. That's just terrible. <laughs> With haste, it's a lot better, obviously, because like you just get in. But they discard a Gloom Drifter. It's U2 Flyer if it can kill a thing. Kill things. All right, sure. It's going to zap. Draw a Forest. No. All right, so we're just playing the Weir Rat here. Not very happy about it. Um... We could sack a land. Hold on a second. I guess the harvest is terrible because they have this freaking thing. So. Torture is so good. Yeah, we'll just play our freaking rat and whatever. We might trade, honestly. I'm just saying, yeah. We're way up on cards. They have two cards left and I have six. So, like, we kind of want to stay alive here. Stay alive. Kill the torturer. Kind of go from there. Have I seen the remix draft on Arena? I have not, no. I'm set a block. Uh, just waiting to discard a card. All right, I'll wait. Never mind. I lied. Let's play draw forest next turn, though. All right, they're gonna play a grave digger. Oh my god, we're getting wrecked. They return the gloom drifter. It's a two-two flyer. It's gonna have haste. Draw forest. Thank God. All right, draw forest. We can play, um, if you play Acorn Harvest, we're just going to pick off the tokens one at a time with this thing. Let's play the Springy Tiger as they go. Probably even just ditch, ditch the Harvest to the Wear Rat if we have to discard a card. So, let's just say go. They now have a Choo Choo Haste Flyer in their hand, but we have Morbid Hunger and Soul Scourge. These old school games are much more about card advantage than tempo. About kind of grinding, staying, you know, doing your thing. There's a Gloom Drifter. It's a 2 2 haste. Just gonna get in. Sure. So now we have to decide if we're gonna hunger. There's our own torturer. 
All right, well, now I think we just hunger the... If I hunger a torture, though, my, my shields are down on the regen. Could just play a Soul Scourge and block this. I think it's totally fine, honestly. The Soul Scourge damage not seem relevant because, like, we're not really in a rush and we're definitely in control deck here on the, not the beatdown, so let's do that. I think you try and draw land and have enough mana up for a regen and a six mana spell. Just say go. So goal is to try and trade and then set up for hunger on the torturer and then play our own torturer. It's hard to imagine, folks, but like Pro Tours are played in these formats, Grand Prix, tournaments everywhere, you know? You know, Modern Day Limited is definitely in a, a bit of a renaissance. I will say I think that, like, I miss a little bit of the pacing of these older sets where, like, you know, the last, like, five or six Modern Day Limited sets have been very, very good for the most part, but they are fast. You're on the draw, you miss a land drop, or you're on the draw and you just, like, stumble, you can just die so easily, whereas these games had a much slower pacing, so there's more time to kind of, like, play to your cards, you know? So, I miss that a little bit, but... They're going to attack, we're going to block. Minus and minus one, it's not, 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 not to matter here, so just going to offer a trade. The power creep our creatures is absurd. Like, Gravedigger was an excellent... Was, like, a first pickable card back in the day, and there's, like, a 3-2 Gravedigger with an ability in the next set. You know, like... Another spell gorger. Was this card good? I don't remember this card being good. All right, they discard a Morgue Theft, which is Flashback, which is pretty good also. I'll draw land here, please. Land. Drew land. Sick. So now I can go Morbid Hunger on the Torturer. Now this is dead. And now I have a regen up. And now I can play my own Torturer next turn. And then start picking up these next ones. They're going to play Cabal Trainee. Uh, a bit different than modern day one drops. Uh, wallet for one. Sacrifice if you have a creature minus two, minus O oh, until end of turn. It's like not even a black ability. It's like a blue ability, but whatever. Yeah. They might just Leroy here because they can shrink my wear rat. Yeah, they're just going to send. So. This is fine. So we'll just like block. We'll just take the three. We'll discard the, the harvest. They'll sack this thing, which is fine. So, just a wash here. We just sacrifice the card in our hand for the trainee. We take three. Play Tiger and Torturer. They're closing in on Threshold, but... Missing land drops, too. And two crew traces is a pretty good draw, actually. So, this can nuke their Morgue Theft before they can get it back. Or their Anger, I guess, but... Um... Alright, so... Maybe just start with a... Nah, it's actually pretty... Actually, I have, I have Tiger. Let's just attack for, attack for three here. Get close Threshold, too. So I can just stack these lands for Threshold at some point. So, that's kind of cool. So we're going to Torturer and Tracer and just leave up our activation on Were Rat. This thing can't block, though, once you hit the uh, Threshold. It's important to note. Pelantum tank. So once we get threshold, we have two monstrous creatures too. So it's gonna be a five-five. All right. So we're going to play uh, a tracer. Do I want to hit anger or morg that? This is a five mana raise dead or anger. Anger is the scarier card, I think. So we're a little low. I'm just gonna hit the anger, I think. I think five mana raise dead is beatable. So get rid of this. Goes to the bottom of their library. Play Archibald, Arch Archibald Torturer. And just say go. Uh, could I be play the Harvest too, I guess? Instead of having this thing up. Now they're obviously going to attack with their... These things are they're, they're going to die anyway. Yeah, so... We have Flashback on Morbid Hunger pretty soon. We have 5, 6, 7. We need 2 more mana for this. 
I don't know if taking five years is like an okay thing. I'm actually to block one of these. Um, not happy to discard this either, so I'm just gonna block with the tracer. It kind of sucks, but like I can't kill one thing next turn anyway, so. So they draw carbons dies. They have four cards in hand now. And they have an anarchist to return a spell. See, this is our opponent knows what they're doing. This is like a very, very classic limited deck where I'm just like EDB two for one, two for one, two for one, you know? So they're gonna return their raised dead with their Arcanist. Anarchist. So uh, that's cool. You're saying it wrong. It's Levi Osa. Draw a boneyard slasher. Probably a better card to discard than to play. Um, okay. I mean, you want to press here a little bit, but like, it's kind of hard. They've got three cards in hand. One of them is a raise dead. We're going to kill this, we're going to draw a card. I don't really have great attacks here. Um, three, two, two. Do I play this or save it to discard to the wear rat is the question. I also want to get threshold too. It makes my things bigger if I think this can kill two twos too. So we're pretty close to threshold here. We can get it with these wreckages as well. So we're like we're almost there. Um Flashback obviously takes away from threshold though, so it's like a fun little song and dance. Hmm. Hi, yi, yi. I think I need to think for a second. I'm paying three for harvest. There's probably like a lava axe in this set too. Um, I used to love for lava axes. Taking taking three is kind of a sketch thing too. Yeah, playing tiger for sure. Um, I don't think we're attacking. I guess this is good threshold too. I'm just gonna freaking play this thing. So now we can just stack these whatever we want and get threshold if we really want it, like in combat too, so. I'm gonna wait a turn though. Let's just untap. If I stack these, I'm never casting Morbid Hunger again, which I really want to do, so I'm just gonna say go. Say go, our board's really good. Comes the Barbarian. I'm just gonna target this. They get to draw a card. Human Nightmare Barbarian. Why is that a human and a barbarian? Oh, I guess barbarian's a job, not a thing right here. Pitchstone Wall, 2 5 Defender. If you discard a card, you may sacrifice this. If you do return the discarded card in your graveyard to your hand. Sure. Not that bad for us. Untap and draw. We draw a swamp. So now we're one mana away from flashing back Morbid Hunger. Um, sure, that's fine. Then once you flash it back, we can take these lands and get our, our threshold on too. That's fine. Let's play land. Attack for one in the air and say go. Talk for one. Boneyard Slasher. Once we have Threshold, they can target it with anything, it'll die. Intense Complex is around when opponent played a Thought Nibbler. Then just they can see the entire match discard step. That's a card that makes your hand size smaller. I love drawbacks, you know? There's only cool drawbacks back in the day. Now it's, no, it's only upside. They're going to hunger my rat. Now, I could just sack two lands and save it here. I think I want to. We'll sack two lands, save it, and then we'll just torture her down one of these uh, two twos. If I have threshold, it's plus two, plus two. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So now, 
Yeah, we have six, we have five in the bin. We'll just do this. Let's go make black. Make black. That's why I play these lands. Now I have threshold. And we'll just, uh... This is fine, I'm sure. So hunger resolves. Now it's a four five that can't block with some damage on it. Five five, a three three. And the thing that now this thing deals two. This thing now it's a freaking royal assassin. You know, like right at common, which is insane. So kill this thing. Untap. Draw forest. No shit scoop. Awesome. So our opponent is a good red black kind of grindy deck. Uh, again, I don't think we can do much because our sideboard has almost nothing in it. So let's turn it back. Opponent chooses to play. Uh, we have another two lander. We are playing again. Uh, eighteen lands with our unhinged. Not very good against them, but whatever. I would just keep this. I'm not thrilled, but whatever. Hi, Karn. All right. Need to draw some lands. There's a swamp. Awesome. Nailed it. Bingo. All right. It's a nice swamp too. It is a nice looking swamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice mountain. Just gonna say go, no two drop. So now, do we play R2 drop? If they play a Cabal Torture, I'm gonna feel really bad that I played it. I could play Graveyard stuff too. I might just wait, honestly. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold it. A thing you would literally never do in Modern Day Limited, but if they, if they cast Cabal Torturer on three, it's like a wasted card. We can use it for value to exile a card later. We're going to unhinge them too, so like, they might discard an Anger again or something like that. They play nothing also. Alright. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to cast the reverse, so... There's also a fear, like, if they have mana up, they can just card a madness card and just cast it, which would, be a, which would be a devastating turn of events, so... Not in a rush to cast the Unhinge, either. Here's a Gloom Rifters. 2 2, two Flyer for 4. If, if uh, it has Threshold, it kills all your stuff, which is pretty insane, but... I think nothing that exciting so far. Draw a Soul Scourge. Uh, I'll just stack. And trading your fine. They probably won't, I would think. So, unless they have a raised dead and stuff, but... Alright, unhinge you. And they discard a... Another anger, sure. And now I kept this thing. God, I'm so smart and good looking! It's incredible. So we draw a three drop. We can go tracer and a three drop. Otherwise, we'll play a five drop, probably, but... Here's the Anarchist. Five mana, two, two, haste. Welcome to the olden days, folks. The wild, wild west. All right, so... Tracering the Anger is very mana efficient here. I'm just going to cast freaking Soul Scourge and intend to block, I think. They're at three. Yeah, I'm just going to chill. We have Suter Ghoul and Warthog, which we'll just play defense here. We're the, we're the control deck again, so... All right, here we go. Blocks Ahoy. Probably have a raise dead, but whatever. Honestly, it's fun. Make our blocks. There aren't a lot of things. Like most of the black removal spells destroy non-black creatures, so there are there shouldn't be many things that kill like a ten-ten suitor ghoul. So, mostly more black mana, but three cards left. They're going to Restless Dreams. It just will cost, he has a spell, discard X cards, return X cards. They discarded a Gravedigger to return the Anarchist, which will return the Restless Dreams. They're doing it, folks. They're doing it. They're going all the way here. It's looping Anarchist, Gravedigger, and, and uh, Recursive Spells. So that brings back the dreams. So I think I think now maybe we want to tracer the gravedigger away, so they can't return that and kind of keep this loop going. They didn't even attack. What are you what What are you doing? They didn't even attack. There's our swamp. I like that a lot actually. Um, so to get back the the dreams.
play the war dog, right? Like, you just play the big idiot. Yeah, sure, whatever. There you go. Have fun. Have fun with that recursive uh, stuff, you know? These sort of value loops were huge back in the day, and they're just way too slow for modern day limited. Are they going to attack? They're moving to attack position. So now do they have like a three damage spell to finish this off and they want to recurse recurvis also or stick to? Six mana lightning helix. And then you can flash it back for a nine mana lightning helix. Oh, it's lightning helix! Oh my god! You youngins got no idea how good you got it. Here's a spell gorger barbarian. Just card a card at random. They discard the dreams, sure. They have one card left. I think we're in good shape here. So now we have Axe to Suitor Ghoul, but like, not enough things in the graveyard deck because they keep like not killing our stuff. Um, pretty sure we just Tracer. Now that the dreams is gone, we can just leave the Gravedigger and just uh, hit their anger, I think. So it's pretty mana inefficient, but... Take five, Tracer, goodbye Anger. So Tracer blocks one of these guys. I might even block the 2-2 two -two actually, just take the extra damage so they don't, they don't draw a card. If they attack. They have their own Morbid Hunger to get in and a Rugged Highlands, okay. All right, that's aggro. We untap and draw a Harvester Druid. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can play Hunger and Druid. Druid blocks this thing. They have no cards left. Once this dies, I get a card, though. Yeah, Suitor Ghoul would be uh, three, four, five, six, seven. A seven, five Trample. Which honestly probably wins the game by itself. They have four, five, six, seven. They're two off of this thing. I have to cast this. Like, that's big enough. Seven, five, trample with a morbid hunger in our hand, too. We have 12 power of trample and a lightning helix. If you like your magic history, I'll do a little plug for my, uh, my buddies, Pat and said they do a show called The Resleevables. It's on YouTube. And they've been going back and like once or twice a month, they do an episode. It's like a two hour long kind of podcast style episode where they go over the history of magic. They go one set at a time. They just give you all the facts and all the, everything you want ever want to know about a set. And they just do one set front to back. It's awesome. It's great. And uh, they're at, I think, Mirage or Portal or somewhere. The last one I, I, I was to do was, was Visions, I think. So it's, it's, it's great. It's phenomenal. Patent said, obviously phenomenal. Check them out. Not sponsored. Just good friends of mine, and they're awesome. Check them out. All right, we just jam here. I mean, they're just freaking dead, so. They want to dub block here, I guess. They just die, right? Dub block here. It's same thing. It's dead, right? They take, uh... This is lethal, right? Trample damage. Down to two. Yep. Draw a card. Upstairs! Two it out. All right, final boss. Doo, 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 doo. On the play, let's go. We got a uh, pretty good hand. You can keep this. Soul Scourge for days. We have a Hollowed Healer on our board. Yeah, we took it like fifth pick or whatever. Just never saw more white cards. Very, very unassuming card. This is like probably the best white common, right? Maybe. I don't actually know, but it's like, it's exactly the best white common, but it's very, very good. All right, that's our sideboard. Got a couple of coffers in there. Yeah, so back in the day, there were tons of cards like this. Just commons that had abilities that had no mana to use that affected combat, and it made combat so complicated. You'd have, like, two of these in play. Your opponent would have a card that would, like, tap to deal one damage to an attacker or blocker in play. They'd have a thing that would get plus two, plus two to a creature in play. It just, like, combat was, a, was insane. It was so complicated. And there were always commons. There were always commons 
with tap abilities with usually never a mana activation either. So they were always active, always there. There are always tons of them. Uh, it was very, very complicated. I said, uh, Punt might be double queuing here. It's very bad for us, obviously, if they are, because uh, that sucks. No lava dart, please. Blazing Salvo. The Punisher cards. One red. Three damage to target creature. Unless the creature controller has them take, takes five. Uh, I will take five happily. Uh, have Blazing Salvo deal five damage to you. Yes. So, one mana Lightning Axe, or Lava Axe, is fine. But, Battle Strain. Whenever a creature blocks, Battle Strain deals one damage to that creature controller. I, this is the finals? <laughs> I don't think either of these cards are playable. I could be wrong, obviously. My memory is a little hazy, but... Sure. There was a few of these Punisher cards in these sets of a set. Oh, Tiger? Tiger's great. Let's Tiger over the, uh, over Imp. Opponent's 1-0. Sure. They have a Battle Strain. Read your blocks. One damage to each controller. So, sure. Once again, Odyssey Torment Judgment Flashback Draft. This is a set from over 20 years ago. Ember Beast can't attack or block alone. Sure. That's fine. We draw land. We drew a land. We did it. <laughs> land was huge there. Like, huge. Um, now, we're on, now we're on the Scourge train. Scourge, yeah. Take six. Fire Birdie. First time chatter. Everyone say hi to Fire Birdie. Welcome our new viewer. What's up? I think we'll have all the four cycle in Modern Horizons on Arena. Maybe? And they're gonna play uh, Pertivark. This is a stone rain on a creature. As long as this is alive, my swamp is gone. That's pretty annoying, honestly. But I still have sudden strength, so this can't attack or block alone. They block with both of them. That's that's great for us, actually. That's, we're, we're good here. Let's do a swamp. Oh, we don't. So, yeah, we're gonna attack here. They double block, and we have a 6-5, which is great. So, yeah, pretty easy attack. No blocks, wow. Do we just, like, cap this freaking Sudden Strength? Put them down to uh, 4 life with Soul Scourge in our hand and in play? I gotta maybe do, actually, because I can't, I can't get anything else anyway, so I shouldn't do it. Sudden Strength. We draw a Suitor Ghoul, not ideal. So they're at four. Uh, we have no black mana, unfortunately. Obviously, we draw any swamp, they're dead. And then if the Petrovark dies, we're, they're dead. Looks like they're mono red. Being mono color is all draft from us was pretty damn hard because there were so few playables. All right, we got game one. That's a weird election of cards from our opponent. They're, they're, they're super aggro. Um, anything changed for our sideboarding? Probably not, right? Invigorating Falls. You gain life equal to the number of cards, creature cards in all graveyards. It's cute. Uh, we got cartographers, a random cheap creature. We could bring a cartographer just to like, just, just, just a body, you know? We're scared of dying to an early aggression, but I don't think we are, so let's do it. All right. Um, Sands keep, but we're going to keep. It's not great. It's not with the Void Wars our last hand, but... Dwarven Scorcher. One mana for a 1-1. You can sacrifice this to deal one damage to a creature. Unless they take two. This is a very, very bad mod fanatic. Very similar to the, the, the Salvo card they played. Just another Punisher card. Which are just not very punishing. So, here's Wreckage. Tiger's great here. All our greater reset. Thanks so much. There's a Crackling Club. Plus and plus O. Sack to deal one damage. Okay. So, hyper aggro, obviously. Our hand's slower this game. It's a little scarier, but... Gimpy says, never played Moto before, downloaded it just for this draft. Sweet. Oh, Fire Beast. So, I could take five and kill this. 
or give him a 3-2. Just easily take 5, right? Just 5. Just free, a free just never under creature. Awesome. Punisher cards all day. Alright, so we're going to go land Phantom Tiger here. Get him to block. Then we have an Acorn Harvest to block with also, which is great, so... All right, three cards left. Snap block. We're definitely looking to not die here, so they have three cards left. The Punisher cards can obviously get better the more damage I take, so I'll trade a counter for the for the two cards. That's awesome. So pretty insane. We traded half our Phantom Tiger for two cards, and they're going to Scorching Missile me, which is a four mana sorcery, four damage to player or Planeswalker. I promise you, it didn't have that Planeswalker text back in the day, but. All right, we're going to land. We attack for two. I'm just going to Elephant Ambush, I guess, right? I mean, if they have, like, two more of these, we're just dead. But, like, what am I going to do, you know? Um, yeah, let's end that Ambush. There is a, a, a early accident for the new set. I'm freaking stoked about it. Ten new brews will be happening uh, next week on Wednesday, I believe. Promo will be out soon for that. Pardic Lancer, 5 mana for a 3-2, discard a card at random, plus the on first strike. This is the funny part where, for some reason in this set, a lot of cards have these discard a card effects, obviously because it's for madness and threshold and stuff like that, but all the red ones are just freaking discard at random. All the others discard any card. I mean, the middle red card is so bad. Sure, so, like, obviously it's, like, kind of fine here. I can ambush and they block and kill it, but, like, it just... Obviously much worse than uh would be otherwise. Flashback, flash, the, flashback, the flashback on this is 10. Alright, it's so untap. Just gonna untap and attack with both. I guess Acorn Harvest. If they block in first strike, which they, they probably should block and block in first strike, right? They have one card in their hand, so. Right, they take that much. We harvest a rat. We harvest. Better blocker. Probably not flashing it back, but... Yes, they should have sacked the club to, to damage the uh, the tiger, which didn't. That would have shrunk the tiger down to a 2-1, and then combat damage would have, killed, have killed it, so... Tap 5 red. Firecat Blitz, Red Red X. Create X11 one, one red cat tokens with haste. Exile them at the beginning of X end step. Flashback red red sack X mountains. We're dead. They just flashback for, for for six tokens next turn. These die in the end of turn. Oh my god. Alright. Uh we take four. Yeah, I mean, I think we're just dead. This is pretty gross, but... I'm just going to single block, because they can just discard a card and get first strike. So we go to four. If they want to sack all their lands, I mean, you know... That's a thing, I guess, but... So we go to four. Our only life gain is the one uh, six mana lightning helix, right? So those all die. That's a cool card, honestly, fire cap blitz. We draw a forest. All right, so, I mean, I can only play one creature here anyway. Yeah, I mean, we're still, we're still on board here, I think. What's up, cast? Schedule's up. All right, so, if they play a land, make six tokens, tackle everything, we block one. We're not, we're not dead yet. We have to, like, leave everything back on defense, though, which is just terrible, but... Ember Beast can attack or block alone, sure. Ponderous Mono Red player here. Probably want to draw a land against the Warthog, I guess. This Firecat Blitz is terrifying. And a Scorcher. Okay, so... 
I guess our best draw is just like the, the graveyard hate card, right? Probably. Alright. Combat step. Cass, were you even alive when this came out? It's like you're you're 23, right? It's close. It's close. What's older? Uh this set or my assistant? That's the question. No, God, I'm so old. Um, all right, so we're at four. I mean, we're just playing a rat and saying go, right? Like, torture would be cool, but we have to shut the block with it anyway. I think we're probably dead, right? What a sick game. All right, so there you go. All right. Are they blitzing? No! <laughs> they got Splitter Twin. Battle Strain plus Flashback Firecat Blitz. All right, I guess you got me. Let's hear it for our opponent. This deck is uh, is something else. I can't tell if they're, like, insanely good or uh, or they're just playing cards kind of at random, you know? All right, here's your Firecat Blitz. Yeah, so now we have Block, I just die. All right, yeah, you got me, I guess. Yeah, the play for game three is pretty huge. I'm gonna bring in some cheap creatures actually. I'm just gonna bring in like the cheapest stuff we have. So I'm bringing like the. You know what's coming in? Woodland Druid's coming in. The perfect card for the job. Hello, sir. South Park Junior Detectives. We're wondering if you have any crimes you need get to Get that in. Let's get the uh the carrion worm out of here, maybe. And uh I mean, Centaur Veteran, Scrounger Falls. Cartographer is just like, you know, it's just a 2 2. It's fine. Uh, would I rather have this than like some random 4 drop? I haven't drawn. We haven't done Centaur yet. What the? What? The, I forgot we had this card. It's like the best card in our deck. Um, we got Suitor Ghoul, maybe? I think we got Suitor. to cut the Ghoul, too. I think as long as you stay alive, we're just gonna beat them. So their cards are all really bad, but like if they if they cheese us out, they cheese us out, you know? So We got the ghoul that we cut a land too. Now now maybe are we are we down or our mana curves low enough we can just play 17 lands at 18 lands. Our double color is still pretty bad. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do we cut Suitor Ghoul? That is the question. I think we do. All right, let's go. All right. Game three, all the marbles playing for a trophy, and we have a no green hand. Three black lands, some green cards, it all costs four more. We're going to mulligan, I guess. All right. Mulligan into two lands. Cartographer, Centaur, Strength, Ambush, Unhinge. All right, we're going to keep. I mean, we need to draw some lands, but we're play we are playing 18 of them. Our opponent on a time machine, they, they will go back and win every, win every Pro Tour, obviously. They broke the format. They're only 24 years too late, you know, <laughs> like... Alright, we're gonna keep. Put them all against six also, which I think favors us. So dump the strength. These are two pretty high quality four drops. Alright, need to draw land. Simple as that. Elven ambush is the jam, I know, right? Turn one, Dwarven Scorcher. Alright, drew a land. Sick. We drew a land, and we can even like sack it. And get it back, which doesn't make any sense, I guess, but... <laughs> Alright, so we draw green, but we have unhinged also if we miss, so... Take one. Battle Strain, sure. This card literally only seems good with the, with the, uh, the Blitz thing, and only if they're ahead, too, but... Alright, here's Cartographer. Got our 2-2 blocker, another 1-1. Another one, one. 
We draw a forest next turn, the game's over, I think. If we don't, it's going to be scrappy. Playing some real magic here. I play a 2-2 two -two for 3. You play a 1-1 one for 1. You play a bad enchantment. I'm blocking. No attacks. No attacks. No creatures. Oh my god. Are we in draw land? We have on hinge though, so. Please don't fire temper me. We discard Kamal's Desire. It's a mana enchantment. First strike. Threshold. Plus 3 plus 0. Oh, damn. Draw forest. Awesome. Yes, yeah, Scrappy Scrappy is the Scrappy Crappy is the name of the game, these old limited sets. Alright, so there you go. Thanos' desire. Three cards in end. All right, this is like, you got nothing? Just nothing going on? Um, It's funny because Phantom Centaur is like very good against red decks, but if all their cards are 1-1s, one, are one it's, like, it's like very bad against tokens, right? You should block it with token three times, it would just die. So I kind of want to play the Ambush on the Centaur, but it's still really good. I'm just going to play it. Attacking. Excuse me. All right. Phantom Centaur, come on down. You're here for our final game, and I am here for you, my friend. This card is the Stones. Stones. Give me this card in a flashback sheet, you know? Or whatever. Secret Guest, Secret Layer. What the hell is it? Secret Layer. Secret Guest, Special Guest, Mystical Archive. This card is something fierce. I don't see any hair. That's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, somebody stop the damn match. Enough, enough. All right, they're just not doing anything, which honestly makes sense because their deck does seem pretty bad. Like they're just playing a lot of really sketchy guards. Um, all right, I mean, we're just gonna attack. All right, just say go, and they're at eleven. We have. Elf and Ambush also, so. Put an Armadillo Cloak on this card. Oh, boy. That's what's up. You have a never-dying, in invulnerable to damage 4-2 lifelinker. Gore Tusk Fire Beast. 2-2 two -two for 6. EDB deal 4 damage to a player. Lava Axe. Big time. Opponents playing Lava Axe Tribal. They're going to attack here, though. So we're going to go 15. They're going to attack, and we're going to freaking ambush them. Yeah. The Planeswalker deck was added later. That was not on the original cards. Cool card, though, right? Cool art. Sack to deal one damage to my Phantom Centaur. Is sorcery speed? Why are we doing this now? So I can either make this into a 4-2 four four or take 2. No, I, for sure, whatever, it's fine. So you, you got your damage. You, you did it. You did it. You got a four two now. Straw lamp of the war dog too. You know. Yeah, lucky I got a planeswalker in play. That's a big power boost to this card, right? Could kill planeswalkers too. Before it couldn't. What's going on here? Oops. Hello, opponent. Where are we? Man, folks, if you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. But once again, I said it before, I'll say it again. Set review this Friday at high noon, each standard time, live on Twitch. Outlaws of Thunder Junction, the new OTJ. Every single card, constructed and limited. Check it out. It'll be up on YouTube over the weekend as well. And I uh, hope to see you there. Complete set review. Do -do -do -do. Mur, mur, mur.
I don't, I don't know what's going on. There's not here. Um, yes, it could also kill planes walkers back in the day. It just, it just, they just changed the, the wording of hearts. It used to be a bit like you could just, if you targeted a player, you could just choose to redirect to a planeswalker, and they thankfully cleaned that, that rule up because it made no sense. Is the whole spoiler out? Who knows? I have no idea. I know it's out Friday, so... Alright, uh, yeah, we just jam in here. And I hope you like jamming, too. We won! We did it! After it was all over... 3-0! Still got it after, like, 25 years. Odyssey Tournament Tournament Judgment is mine. My trophy. There we go. That was fun. That was definitely a lot of fun. You get a little look back into the uh, the past there. But again, the future is going to be on Friday. We're going to have, uh, we're going to have uh, like I said, set review on Friday. Next week on Wednesday is 10 new brews in the early access. Early access is back, which is super exciting as well. And then, of course, Bronze Mythic will be the, the, week, the week after, which is crazy. There I am on the leaderboard. Boom. I'm tied for first place. Yes. We did it. We did it. All right. I love you all, folks. Uh, YouTube folks, love you. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And like, comment, subscribe to all stuff. And that's it.